Welcome to an introduction to online advertising. This class has been created to give you an overview of Google's online advertising platform. During this session, the following topics will be covered in brief. Who is Google and what place do we have in the online industry? What is the search network and how does it work? What is Google's display network and how does it work? How can YouTube be used for advertising? What is Google Places? And finally, what are the advertising options on Google Mobile? Firstly, where does Google fit in to the online advertising landscape? We've never witnessed a downturn in a digital economy and this presents an opportunity as the economic slowdown is fueling online growth. Consumers are empowered, having access through a variety of devices and are enabled by the wide penetration of the internet and the tools it brings to research, investigate, share opinions, compare and purchase. The downturn is going to increase the importance of digital in our lives because it helps us save money, time and costly travel. Staying in is the new going out. Google is a top three global internet property in terms of visits. Between the display and search partners, Google reaches 90% of the internet population, making Google's advertising platform number one in terms of audience reach. With over 2.5 billion page views per day and over 450 million unique users per month, Google provides a platform to reach any consumers in all industries. Over the past five years, the advertising industry landscape has changed dramatically, with online marketing spend experiencing explosive growth. While most other media have maintained relative levels of spend, with global online advertising spend growing overall, it is interesting to note that newspaper advertising revenue has been cannibalised by online media budgets. Why is it that online has become so popular? There are several key factors involved in determining which media is used in any marketing campaign. Consider the marketing objective of your campaign. Is the campaign goal brand awareness, direct sales and acquisition, or developing new markets? Also consider the production costs involved, the ability to effectively target and measure audiences, and the popularity with consumers. Online advertising has experienced massive growth as it provides advertisers with the ability to reach a large number of consumers, at home or abroad, in an efficient and measurable manner. Given the range of advertising options available by combining search, display and video advertising, supported with sophisticated reporting and tracking tools and large audience reach, Online campaigns become a compelling concept for any marketing specialist interested in developing a smart, scalable and profitable marketing strategy. Comparing traditional media advertising use to online advertising, it is useful to use the consumer buying cycle as context frame. Traditional media such as TV, radio, print and outdoor are broadcast and non-interactive media. Their primary purpose is to push a message out to a consumer audience and as such, for the purposes of a marketing campaign, they're best suited to develop brand awareness within an audience and to influence consumers during the consideration phase of the buying cycle. These broadcast media are generally referred to as above-the-line media. Public relations activity, in-store promotions and direct mail are used to attempt to engage consumers on a more personal and direct level and, as such, can be used in any campaign that aims to encourage product trial or to establish loyalty and repurchase. The advent of online advertising media changed the traditional models by giving marketing specialists the ability to target consumers at any stage of the buying cycle, depending on how the online campaign is constructed. Google search advertising, for example, can be used for brand awareness by advertising with keywords related to brand values and search advertising has also been proven as an extremely effective driver of direct sales. So, why is Google such an important part of the advertising industry? Consider how today's population consume media. Know from researching user behaviour that Google acts as a nexus point for research. So what are the other drivers that affect a user's path? Once a user clicks on a search result, they may move to a publisher or site within our display network to collect information. There is an opportunity here for advertisers to reinforce their message to the consumer by using one of our many display offerings on YouTube or within our vast display network. 
As the user's information gathering journey continues, they may come back to Google to refine their search. This process may repeat several times. For clients who wish to implement branding and awareness campaigns, huge opportunities exist during this loop to capture attention, push a message and reinforce their brand name with a user who is actively collecting information. Independent research has shown that TV is the biggest driver of online search. As users are exposed to offline messaging, they use Google to learn more about a product or service they may have encountered through another medium. Therefore, Google adds value to offline advertising. Consistent, integrated cross-media campaigns will generate a higher return. Lastly, the value of search does not just lie in clicks and conversions. Consumers use Google to research and inform their purchase decisions. They may, however, choose to buy their products in bricks and mortar stores. It is important to consider the role of online advertising in this type of sales and not limit AdWords effects simply to online conversions. Google's platform consists of several properties. Within the Google network structure, Google Search, Product Search and Gmail are available for text advertising. Google Search Partners allow advertisers to deliver text ads on other search engines that use Google technology. Our large network of display publishers allow ads by Google placed on specific pages of publishers' websites. Ads are delivered by a range of different targeting, pricing and format options. In addition, Google also provides advertising opportunities within Google Maps, also known as Google Places, Google Mobile, YouTube and Google Checkout is a secure payment system employed by transactional-based websites. This technological platform, which is developing in sophistication every day, enables agencies to employ a range of advertising solutions to reach client customers whatever the aims of the client may be. Investing in technological expertise with Google's platform expands a business's options for reaching customers quickly and cost-effectively on a worldwide or local scale. Google provides tools and services for agencies of any size to assist with their ability to pitch and offer online advertising solutions. There are four main areas where Google's advertising technology platform can enhance the services offered by agencies. The range of options within Google's properties provides more options to creative and strategy teams. The reporting and analysis tools available on all of Google's properties not only provide deep data insight to clients on their campaign's ongoing performance, but they are also extremely useful as pitching tools when planning media campaigns. With such a massive reach to the online population, using Google's platform provides any advertiser access to a large amount of traffic and potential conversions. By mixing online and offline media with a consistent message and approach to a campaign, Google's advertising solutions can enhance and provide insight in to the success of any integrated media campaign. The first advertising product we wish to introduce you to is the Google Search Network. The Google Search Network allows advertisers to deliver text-based ads to users targeted by relevance to particular keyword queries. Search advertising affords marketing specialists the opportunity to quickly promote products and services by directly matching a marketing message to a keyword of their choice. It is important to understand the anatomy of a search results page and distinguish between what is referred to as the natural search results and the sponsored listings. The natural search results, shown here, are unpaid, unbiased, algorithmically generated listings. These listings appear on the left-hand side of the results page. Their ranking is determined by Google's search relevance algorithm, which determines which results best match a user's query. Improving a site's ranking within the natural search results is the realm of search engine optimization, or SEO for short. The paid search results are listed according to the rules of the auction-based cost-per-click model. In this model, page position is a combination of the max cost per click bid on a chosen keyword multiplied by the historical quality score. The quality score is a metric of relevance. An easy way to think of how the quality score works is to think of the ratio of clicks received against impressions, i.e. the number of times an ad has been displayed. For example, if an ad appears 100 times for a particular keyword, 
and is clicked on only once, then the quality score, and hence relevance of the ad to this keyword, would be less than if the ad received 10 clicks from 100 appearances. By using this metric as part of calculation of position, the AdWords system self-regulates to ensure that the most relevant queries move to the top of the sponsored search results. Since the max cost per click bid is also a factor, it means that highly relevant ads with good historical performance may cost less in the long term, hence advertisers with tightly constructed campaigns, relevant ad text and optimised keyword lists will generate much greater value from their keyword advertising campaigns. The mechanics of AdWords are easy to understand in a few simple steps. 1. Advertisers select relevant keywords. 2. Users search on those keywords. 3. Google ranks ads. Ad auction. 4. Winning ads appear. 5. Advertiser only pays when ad is clicked. There are four points to note about the Google AdWords system. 1. The system self-regulates in order to show the most relevant, best-performing ads first. 2. Over time, better performance will reduce the CPC cost, encouraging high-performing listing and ensuring relevance is rewarded. 3. In order to ensure that a client is advertising at the right times of the day, week or month, encourage your client to run a test phase of always-on activity to gain data and insight to inform optimization. This early campaign spend is an investment in long-term return. 4. Lastly, consider the analogy of a shop door. An increased daily budget is akin to keeping your shop open for longer during the day. If a low daily budget is set and reached early during the day, it is like closing your shop early and missing out on potentially valuable business. Lastly, consider the difference between generic and narrow search terms. Broad terms generate higher volume of searches, but it is harder to be relevant to the user's search as their exact need is not clear. Broader terms are more useful for awareness or branded campaigns. Narrow terms are effective drivers of online sales and direct response, as ad relevance can be much higher. Success at search is a science as well as an art. It requires data and creativity to succeed. Compelling ad techs have been shown to increase click-through rates of ads on the search network. In addition to the creative input you may have in determining what the best keywords and ad text composition suit the products or services for sale, the clarity of reporting and performance for each individual keyword afford marketing specialists the ability to optimise budgets, keywords and bids. This framework provides a roadmap for expansion and optimization for any AdWords account. For more information on building and developing search campaigns, browse our other tutorials. Once users pass through our search network, the content site they navigate to is likely to be within reach of our vast Google Display Network. The Google Display Network is the largest network in the world, serving millions of ad impressions on a daily basis. Within this network, we provide deep targeting abilities on over 60 individual interest categories. With a reach of over 80%, once again, through Google, you have access to the global online population. Through our double-click ad serving system, we expose users to an average of 30 ads per day. So, what are the main benefits from using the Google Display Network? The first benefit is the inventory opportunities available. There are six different sizes of display ads available and four distinct formats. Enhancing this diverse choice of formats and sizes is the flexibility in pricing options by giving you choice of cost per click, CPC, or cost per impression, CPM, costing. Sophisticated tools such as Google Ad Planner assist you in targeting audiences by interest, category, and psychographics. Remarketing is also available through the GDN. Synergy with search campaigns means that the user will experience consistent messaging as they search and browse the web. Lastly, smart pricing and budget controls integrated into the AdWords system means you can control costs in real time. So what are the targeting options available within the Google Display Network? The first main method of targeting is by placement. Placement targeting works by picking individual websites to advertise on. 
These sites can be hand-selected from our database of eligible sites. You can also choose to just advertise on multiple or individual pages within a site, such as particular news categories or product pages related to your business. Lastly, you also have the option of advertising only on certain parts of a page, such as the banner or picking individual format types. The second type of targeting is category targeting. This allows an advertiser to target based on content of a particular site. The GDN has over 60 different categories for you to choose from when constructing a media plan. A list of sites within the category will be provided which can then be filtered according to your advertising needs. For more detail on how category targeting works, look up the Google Ad Planner tool. There are six distinct standard display ad sizes available to choose from, including banners, skyscrapers, squares, rectangles and buttons. The sizes for each of these ad types are shown here. In addition to the ad sizes available, there are four distinct formats available within the Google Display Network. They are text ads akin to the familiar Google search advertisements, image ads which are static display ads, video ads for which pre-made templates are available by using the Google Display Ad Builder tool, and finally rich media ads which encourage engagement and interaction with the user. There are two pricing options available on the Google Display Network, cost per click pricing and cost per impression pricing. CPC pricing is best used for a direct response marketing strategy where the goal of the campaign is to drive clicks and conversions. Placements with a high volume of page views are most suitable for this type of pricing as if the aim is to drive awareness by click through, a high volume of impressions is key. The CPM pricing model is best suited for branding and awareness campaigns that do not have a specific online conversion goal but are more focused on pushing a marketing message out to an audience. You may wish to drive awareness by exposure, so high visibility is key. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world after Google and is also a top five worldwide internet property. As the entertainment hub of the World Wide Web, there are many opportunities to reach a large, captive and engaged audience through YouTube advertising. Users love online video content and increasingly YouTube is their online starting point. The number of views on YouTube is truly staggering and it is still growing. YouTube receives 2 billion views every day, with 24 hours of new content uploaded to the platform every minute. Increasingly, publisher and terrestrial broadcaster content is becoming available on YouTube. As a result, advertising options within YouTube are becoming closely aligned to those you might expect from terrestrial TV advertising. Given Google's online tracking and reporting capabilities, YouTube provides unparalleled ability to target, measure and assess your online advertising efforts through video content. Targeting through YouTube works in a similar way as targeting through the Google Display Network. Videos and pages are categorised by demographic, theme and related interest. Also, to assist you with the targeting is a powerful tool called the YouTube Video Targeting Tool. YouTube is a social platform encouraging sharing, responses and comments on uploaded videos. Using video targeted advertising as part of your campaign can spread your marketing message to groups of communities connected to your targeted audience. Video advertising on YouTube uses the same powerful measuring and tracking capabilities available in any AdWords campaign. Placement performance reports provide clarity into served ads and provides marketing specialists with the information needed to optimise and customise campaigns. There are multiple and distinct options for display advertising on YouTube. There are 10 formats shown here, ranging from masthead units with different behaviour, standard and expandable YouTube video ads, and options for in-stream and in-video ads. Rich media, standard banners and mobile banners are also available. For more information on the range of options available, visit youtube.com slash advertising.
Google Places afford marketing specialists powerful options for location-based advertising, which is particularly useful for location-specific businesses. Google Maps itself is an extremely popular site, with users spending 1,000 hours browsing and searching through maps and earth every day. Local business listings are shown on the left-hand side of a search within Google Maps. Relevant local business listings are also displayed as part of the search results returned for a standard Google search query. Location extensions and local targeting can be added to any regular AdWords search campaign to enhance the quality of the results and display address and contact information. Google Places Local Business Center helps you house your local information or national branches and manage it all in one place. Finally, the location targeting options allow you to limit the visibility of your local advertising to the locality of services of any business branch. To understand the power of local advertising, it is useful to note that one in five Google searches is related to a location-based service. Searching on Google.com or Google Maps will yield results like shown here. These business listings and maps data are gathered from multiple sources, including Yellow Pages data and direct submissions. By claiming your business entity and location on Google Maps, you can control how it is presented to the online world. Local listings give business owners the opportunity to provide detailed information to users. An example of the level of detail in a claimed local business listing is shown here with address and phone number included, photos and customer reviews available, and map data with Street View. Several additional features are available, for example, allowing restaurants to provide their menu to users within this listing. A secure verification system is operated to ensure that only the registered owner of a business at any given address can claim ownership over their location online. For more information, search for Google Places or Google Local Business Center. Finally, let's introduce the future of advertising with the Google Mobile Platform. Mobile use is growing at an astonishing rate. For each PC sold worldwide in 2009, 3.3 phones were sold into the consumer market. Technology is advancing at an ever faster rate in mobile computing with smartphones, Wi-Fi and 3G connectivity becoming standard in the mobile phone market. With an ever-increasing population having access to a computer in your pocket, many opportunities for marketing and location-based services are opening up for marketing specialists and advertisers. According to latest figures, there are 5 billion active mobile users worldwide and it is estimated that smartphone sales have overtaken sales of classic mobile units. We know that our location targeting features are especially important for mobile also because so many users are searching for local information. In fact, one in three mobile search queries have local intent. Users could be looking for a nearby store, restaurants, products, hotels or travel destinations. Mobile applications also show a very high tendency to include local information, including about 15% of iPhone and Android applications. This shows just how closely mobile and local are tied. As a marketing specialist, this should be an exciting opportunity as mobile users are often closer to point of sale. And mobile search users often have great urgency and are interested in finding a product or service to buy immediately. Enhancing the location targeting services available through mobile advertising, customers have the ability to click to call on an ad when they search through mobile devices, thereby connecting potential customers to any business in a direct person-to-person -person manner. Recent trials of this feature showed an increase of up to 30% in the click-through rates of mobile ads using the click to call feature. For more information on the options available with Google in mobile advertising, visit www.google.com slash mobile ads.